yards. Baker Mayfield has 397, and, you know, they lost to Houston. And Houston Houston is way underrated. They're third in their conference right now uh, behind, um, let's see, Kansas City and uh, Indianapolis. Or, no, not Indianapolis. Um, New England. I don't know why I said Indianapolis. <laughs> New England. Um, but, yeah, nine straight wins. They've all been pretty sloppy, except for this one. The defense had four takeaways, which is outstanding for one defense in a game. Um, uh, of course, Tom Brady, 311. You know, he's kind of having an off year. Can I say that? Can I say that Tom Brady's having an off year? I guess they don't really have to because they're, I mean, <laughs> second in the conference, so they'll be in that conversation. They're always steady in the playoffs, and they kind of turn it on. Uh, Philip Rivers had a good game, um, and their win against Pittsburgh. That that was a a shootout. Um, of course, Big Ben is as inconsistent as he is. Uh, I think that was a, a big thing. Juju Smith Schuster didn't really get a lot of uh, of uh, targets, and that was a big thing. It was like every other play: go to AB, go to AB, go to AB. And after a while, it's like the defense catches on. Then you start seeing incompletions, and you really, you know, you really need to throw the ball around if you're going to be consistent. You look at the Rams, you look at the Chiefs. All, all these teams, the quarterbacks are, are equally distributing the ball around. Um, that's why like no one receiver on that team is blowing up on fantasy because they're all they're all getting equal touches. I think the most you'll have is like you know 20 points from a receiver like one game out of the year. And yeah, sure that's good, but you know. Um, Marcus Mariota uh, and their win against Tennessee or and their win against the Jets. Uh, he had two hundred eighty-two yards. Derek Carr this week impressed with that guy. Two hundred eighty-five yards, three touchdowns. He was twenty-nine for thirty-eight, hundred twenty-three QBR, and that was a close one. That was like the most points a terrible team has put up against Kansas City. Uh, of course, we got you know. Of course, we got the news about Kareem Hunt. Uh, he got released for the video evidence coming out that he like pushed and kicked some girl in a hotel right by an elevator, and that is literally retarded. Like, not only do you do like that's stupid. Like, there there is never going to be a situation uh, in which you're either a. Um, not in fear for your life or B um, not in fear for your life that pushing or like hitting or slapping or I don't know anything that's harmful to a woman is okay that's never going to be a thing uh, it really hasn't ever at least since I've been alive I don't, I don't know I don't think it was before that but who knows I wasn't there uh, so yeah that's stupid alright and then you lie to the team about it when asked, because obviously you know that like there's cameras in the in the thing, and they wouldn't be bringing it up to you if they knew that the video didn't exist. So why wouldn't you just be like, yeah, yeah, you know, I I pushed I pushed a I shoved a girl down and then like kicked her, you know? It's like, dude. How d- you're dumb twice. You're dumb twice. Like, if you're going to be stupid, don't be dumb. You know? If you're going to be stupid and kick a girl, don't be dumb and lie about it. Like, y- you're not just stupid. You're dumb and stupid. You're a great football player, but you're dumb and stupid. And you got a lot of, 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 of things to learn. A lot of things in life to learn that probably most, you know, elementary school kids know not to do. Like, one of the first things I remember learning in elementary school was not, don't touch girls. Like, don't don't hit them or push them. Like, treat them with respect. Like, that's one of the first thing you, things you learn um, in, like, any society, like, in the West ever. Um, but, yeah, so that's a whole thing. Um, of course, uh, let's see. Who was his backup this week? Oh, Spencer Ware. Spencer Ware uh, was his backup. Um and uh, he had a touchdown, so good for him. Next man up, Spencer Ware. Good for you, my man. Good for you. Three point four yards uh, 
per attempt, 14 carries for 47 yards. It's, it's okay, but hey, 3.4 yards a, a, an attempt will win you a ball game. So, proud of that guy. Uh, receiving leaders, you know, Travis Kelsey had two touchdowns in the win. That kind of won him the game. Um, A.B., yeah, he had 154 yards, 10 receptions. And a touchdown. Um, Juice Landry had 103 yards. Uh, Keenan Allen had 148. And, and a touchdown. That touchdown was crazy. Almost picked off, and he just like grabs it off of the bounce. Um, so yeah, that, this was this week. Um, and uh, of course, Dallas beat New Orleans. That was insane. Um, Drew Brees pooped the bed and of course Michael Thomas had a bad game and Mark Ingram and Camaro weren't getting the carries and yeah there was a lot of bad calls in it there was probably some things that shouldn't have you know been allowed but Dallas is on a hot streak they are now leading the division uh, the NFC East they're leading it of course it's the worst division in all of professional football but hey we're, le- we're we're winning something at least, okay. So uh, we'll we'll be in the the playoff spot again if we can k- keep it up. Um, other than that, Houston will stay on their win streak. Jacksonville uh, shuts out Indianapolis. They were hot too, but I think they're I think they're the Colts are d- sort of dying down now. Tonight, Philadelphia beat Washington. Um, and Mar- Mark Sanchez. Uh, fills in in the QB3 spot. Um, uh, of course, you know, Alex Smith got hurt, and then uh, Colt McCoy is also out now. So, uh, Mark Sanchez, the infamous butt fumble quarterback, played pretty well tonight. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, he did pretty decent. Um, for a quarterback that's been on the bench for like six years, um, so hey, if they can keep it up, of course you lose still uh, to the Eagles, which is you know terrible. But um, I mean, don't don't get me wrong, it's Mark Sanchez. He didn't have that good of a game, but he he was a, he was staying on his feet, evading some rushes, uh, not getting sacked. Uh, he did throw a pick though. And I think he only had like a hundred something yards, so you know he wasn't terrible. You would expect him to turn the ball over more or just throw it at the dirt. I don't know. You expect worse out of Mark Sanchez, but you know he didn't do terrible. Uh, Thirteen points. Uh, Adrian Peterson, yo, know, first plays in. Adrian Peterson runs his longest career rush for ninety yards. Um, so insane. For that guy, he's like 30 now. I don't even know how old Adrian Peterson is, but he's old. Uh, he's getting it done. He's out there in the streets. Um, but yeah, that so that that's that pretty much wraps up this week. We're gonna go into next week. Um, and I guess big big questions will be answered as far as who's leading the certain divisions. Um, but I want to go into f- our fantasy league. Of course, the playoffs have basically been solidified. Um, this week for uh, my league, um, and Seth, my boy Seth Williams is talking mad a mad game right now. He's the last three weeks he's averaging like 145 points or something like that, which is ridiculous. I don't know how we let him get all those players, um, but my boy George, my my roommate George, he, he's also he's also putting up uh, some crazy numbers. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, I, I won my matchup this week, so now I'll move on to nine and three, uh, and I'm the number two seed in the playoff. I think. Uh, I want to make sure I'm correct on that. Yes, I'm I'm number two in the playoff. So so George is the number one out of the league. I'm the second ranked team in the league. Uh, Sean is number three in the league, and uh, Seth's number four. Mm-hmm. Seth is only number four because. Um, he has a loss to someone that literally hasn't even paid and like hasn't looked in uh, on the team since we started. So he lost to to her in like the first couple of weeks, and then he lost to me by uh, point eight points. And so 
I always mess with him about that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll play Sean, uh, and I'll if when I win that game, of course, um, I will uh, play the winner of Seth and George, and so it, it won't. It, whew, I'm nervous. I'm nervous here, man. Fifty bucks on the line here. I'm nervous. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. We'll look at my team real quick to give y'all an update. Uh, Greg Olson's out. He's got his foot injury again, so I gotta find another tight end. I uh, hope he gets healthy soon. Jacksonville's defense put up 14 points. They're a five-point average defense, which went down from last year, of course. Um, Michael Thomas obviously only had four points in the loss to Dallas. Uh, Jared Goff didn't have a good game at all. Uh, they beat Detroit, but he only had 207 yards, a touchdown, and a pick for 8.1 points. Saquon Barkley had a really uh, good rushing game. 125 yards, a uh, couple couple swing passes for 14.6. That's actually below his average. Uh, James White, even after splitting time with Sony Michelle, uh, got 11.8 points. So can't be too upset there. I gotta find another running back though. That's more. We'll get more volume. Uh, Juju got 4.9 because AB stole all the targets. Uh, Keenan Allen though got 22 point or 22.8 points because of all the targets and the touchdown that he got. And uh, Gostowski got five kicker for uh, Patriots. So uh, that's about it. Let me be honest with you. That's uh, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, but yeah. So next week we got playoffs. Uh, I play Sean, so I gotta I gotta do something about my team to make sure they're all shined and cleaned. Um, before I before I win this week's game. Um, I think we can wrap this up. Basically, basically, the whole gist of the podcast was Alabama's going to win the championship, and that's really all you can say about it. Uh, yeah, no, but sorry, this this one was a week late again. I had I had uh, some stuff I had to take care of, um, some tests and some presentations I had to get uh, finished up, and I I just didn't have time to uh, get it done. And um, of course, I, f- I finished my homework a little early, so I would have time to do it. Uh, Nico and Seth are still working on stuff because um, they're lazy and they procrastinate, so there's that. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at king underscore underscore alex underscore underscore. Uh, my Twitter handle is uh, at akingboss99. You can follow the Throne Room's Instagram um, at the underscore underscore throne underscore underscore room. That's eh, really annoying with all the underscores. I get it. Um, but yeah, thanks thanks so much for listening. Tune in next week. Uh, keep up with our Instagram to keep up with the news that I think is interesting and the stats that I think are cool. Also, you'll get updates uh, a couple days or days earlier about when the podcast is going to be out, a preview of it, stuff like that. Um, But stay healthy, stay safe, um, enjoy whatever you're doing, uh, and as always, God bless and gig them, uh.